this uh, Geoffrey Fisher uh, think that uh, this Elite Visa uh, is worthless. But I can tell you, Geoffrey, that it's not worthless. It's yes, I can agree only that it's it's very expensive visa to stay in Thailand. Although you get some bonuses and perks, but it's not worthless visa. It's not worthless visa. Also, also uh, one year uh, because uh, this elite visa, by the way, is a five-year multi-entry visa. Keep in mind that it's five-year multi-entry visa. You don't have to do any any tiring border bounces. So if you are someone that think that oh these border bounces are just uh, very easy, easy busy, you just go out and come in. It's not that easy. It takes always time and now because you need to stay overnight uh, in neighboring country before you can come in. It's also not that cheap because you need to pay hotel, you need to pay uh, there are uh, you need to you need to pay uh, this this uh, border bounce. So if you fly, you need to pay the flights. Uh, and it's or if you go by car, of course, it's it might be a little bit cheaper. But then you need to pay gasoline. You need to pay this, that, and that. So it's not that simple way. Uh, and it's very bad strategy, in my opinion. Uh, to leave Thailand uh, permanently because keep in mind that and, and many people maybe don't don't uh welcome back to Buriram yeah ploy is still sleeping and I'm drinking here my morning coffee. Reading all kind of news. News in Thailand and news in Finland and news whole world, of course. That's how I start my my days in 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 Buriram and in Thailand overall here. Yeah. And one of the hottest news, of course, uh, has been now, now uh, lately, these uh, new visa rules. And if you if you have read uh, or if you read uh, Thailand-related uh, uh, websites like pattayamail.com, uh, uh, it was it was one one story uh, which uh, tell that uh, now many many. Uh, Expats, expats uh, who live here permanently uh, are angry, and one of the reasons is now. This is how some expats now think think that. Uh, uh, when I yesterday uh, came back to Thailand from Vietnam, uh, I got, I got this. Uh, you can see this uh, sixty day, sixty day uh, stamp, stamp here. So. Uh, now there are over uh, 90 countries that get this 60-day uh, so-called visa exemption stamp just uh, showing their passport. And what is the, what is the extra of this 60-day uh, uh, visa exemption stamp that uh, you can extend it in Thailand uh, another 30 days. So basically uh, you can now come uh, to Thailand uh, without visa, just showing your passport and spend here uh, together uh, totally uh, 90 days, so three months. And by the way, this was uh, one of the we we also uh, got some com comments because uh, some people don't know how these uh, how these rules are now now working. But uh, this is now uh, one of the let's say one of the biggest biggest changes changes. And uh, I actually yesterday 
made some research and there is there is uh, I, I will put put a link to Bangkok Post uh, vlog it was one uh, reporter uh, who who in who made an interview uh, with with some kind of uh, uh, let me take a look <laughs> so this guy from foreign affairs so one of the uh, big big guys there uh, he actually explained uh, why Thailand made now these uh, huge huge uh, changes about these uh, visa free and visa uh, this uh, new uh, five-year destination Thailand visa so why now why Thailand has has not <laughs> made 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 uh, before this and why now and of course uh, they it's very simple uh, Thailand Thailand uh, like this this guy said that uh, Thailand want more more tourists and boost economy more money that's how simple simple is the answer uh, and what's the, what was the uh, very in interesting uh, information which might vary because TIT, you should always remember that this is Thailand and although now this, this uh, level of uh, foreign affairs uh, worker tell that he tell that actually this this 60 day stamp which I can extend inside Thailand uh, another 30 days uh, he said that I can do or you can everyone can do unlimited uh, border runs and repeat this same but you cannot do uh, let's say traditional border bounds uh, that you leave Thailand and come uh, at the same day back to Thailand because he said that uh, he that is not accepted but when when this 60 60 days expiring or a little bit before it's expiring I can go immigration here Buriram example and get another uh, 30 days <coughs> sorry and when the, when this total 90 days expiring I need to leave the country and let's say I I I need to spend only one night uh, one of the neighboring countries it can be Laos, Cambodia, just to give you example, or, or Vietnam, or Malaysia, or whatever. And after one night I come back and if I again show this passport, uh, this, this foreign affairs uh, guy said that uh, I can get again a 60 day uh, visa exemption stamp. But here's the thing. He also said that uh, the immigration officer you meet when you come into Thailand has the last decision. So what does that, that mean? Uh, you will only know when you face that immigration officer. And based on now my my uh, short short. Uh, no shower yet, that's why I do like this sometimes. Based on my short experience, a little bit over two years now here in Thailand, and based on my research, all thought, all thought uh, the rules can say that, yeah, you, you have now unlimited uh, like border runs and you can get this visa exemption. Uh, and you can repeat it uh, even forever but it doesn't work like that and by the way <coughs> this rule has already been uh, I don't know how many years but uh, all the land border border bounces has been limited earlier before this 60 day visa exemption uh, came it was 30 day visa exemption and it was limited uh, land borders two times per year 
but it has not li be limited uh, if you if you come uh, by air. So air, if, if you fly fly into Thailand, it's there has been no any limits, but it. It doesn't mean that you can do it forever and you don't need any any long-term uh, visa if you live here permanently. And this is the, now the, I think the biggest misconceptions that uh, many many foreigners have that. And <clears throat> when, when, I, when I read about now this, this uh, Pattaya mail, you can take a look here. I put short uh, clips here. Yeah, so you can see now here uh, why 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 some expats are now uh, very angry. Uh, well, there are expats who live here permanently, and you can see this this guy uh, Geoffrey Fisher, who has now bought uh, very expensive, uh, or maybe it's not expensive for for him, but uh, for me, how I how I have seen this elite visa. Uh, it's just a very expensive uh, visa to just to allow you to stay in Thailand. And of course there are some bonuses like uh, you get fast track uh, when you come uh, immigration, uh, when you come to Thailand and you can get all kind of, uh, I don't know, limousine or uh, discounts or golf courses and massages and all kind of these things. But, but now, now uh, this this uh, British expat, uh, and he is not the only one now who think that these elite visas and and uh, many many uh, uh, pensionists and expats uh, retirees uh, who who have who have uh, uh, either marriage visa or retirement visa think that now because uh, Thailand uh, introduced these. Uh, this uh, 60 day plus 30 days uh, visa exemption, which you can extend it uh, simply by doing one night uh, border bounds. Uh, <coughs> and I will uh, tell you soon about this uh, another uh, big, big change, uh, which was that uh, uh, destination Thailand visa, which is five year multi entry visa. But it's not that easy to get, I can tell you soon. Uh, and it doesn't work like many people think. Uh, but anyway, now uh, this uh, this uh, Geoffrey Fisher uh, think that uh, this elite visa uh, is worthless. But I can tell you, Geoffrey, that it's not worthless. It's yes, I can agree only that it's it's very expensive visa to stay in Thailand. Although you get some bonuses and perks, but it's not worthless visa. It's not worthless visa. Also, also uh, one year, uh, because uh, this elite visa, by the way, is a five-year multi-entry visa. Keep in mind that it's five-year multi-entry visa. You don't have to do any any tiring border bounces. So if you are someone that thinks that, oh, these border bounces are just uh, very easy, Easy be easy. You just go out and come in. It's not that easy. It takes always time. And now because you need to stay overnight uh, in neighboring country before you can come in. It's also not that cheap because you need to pay hotel. You need to pay. Uh, there are. Uh, you need to. You need to pay uh, this. This uh, border bounce. So if you fly, you need to pay the flights. Uh, and it's or if you go by car of course it's it might be a little bit cheaper but then you need to pay gasoline you need to pay this that and that so it's not that simple way uh, and it's very bad strategy in my opinion uh, to leave thailand uh, permanently because keep in mind that and, and uh, many people maybe don't don't uh, don't get that uh, this, this is uh, tourist tourist purposes, and now you might you might think that why why I who have lived already over two years Thailand uh, use this, and 
like I have told you uh, many of the previous videos that I have waited the best visa options and now uh, it looks like uh, this uh, new uh, five-year multi-entry Thailand destination visa is the best fit for me uh, but of course I can only know it if I can get it but uh, that is my personal plan now that I will because now I have basically 60 plus 30 days I have three months time to time to still get uh, other expats or other people's experiences uh, about this uh, new destination Thailand visa and how they get it, where is it easiest to apply because you cannot apply it uh, in Thailand. That's that's one one big, big thing. So I need to go or you need to go if you want this destination Thailand visa, you need to go out of Thailand and do it. Uh, you can do it uh, some of the neighboring countries, but all these embassies uh, in Vietnam, uh, I'm talking now only neighboring countries. I know many people has already has get this new de uh, destination Thailand visa uh, uh, abroad, like uh, Australia, US and uh, was it UK? But anyway, uh, there is not yet any people who have get it uh, in neighboring countries, Thailand, uh, like uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, or Laos. And highly likely, I will try to get this new destination Thailand visa. Some of these uh, neighboring countries, because it doesn't make much sense that uh, I go back to Finland to just get this uh, visa, which is uh, which is one one option, of course. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, uh, what is my message now? Uh, how I think about now that uh, uh, I kind of understand people like this uh, Ge Geoffrey uh, that they think that, oh, now Thailand uh, or I don't know, is it a little bit like uh, jealousy or something that now because uh, you have paid 900,000 baht to get five-year multi-entry visa. Uh, and now you see that uh, Thailand give maybe not maybe better, but different and cheaper options. But this, I can tell you one thing in based on my, my experience, this 60 plus 30 days is not for long-term uh, retirees or long-term uh, expats. Because uh, I was saying that uh, although this uh, this this uh, big guy from uh, Foreign Affairs told that you can do these border bounces unlimited time, but these are only tourist purposes, and that's the big difference now here. So I have heard many times that people who try to live here Thailand permanently using these border bounces. They, they will face uh, problems and difficulties uh, when they try to do it too many times uh, in a row. So it's because Thailand also wants that uh, people who live here permanently, they apply long term visas because you are not any more tourist when, when you live here permanently. And that's why uh, I personally don't don't like to use this kind of uh, 60 plus 30 days uh, too many times because uh, you never know like this uh, big guy now said that uh, the last the immigration officer has the last decision and she or he the immigration officer can say that whoa 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 stop you cannot do this because I can see you live permanently in Thailand. You must come or apply a long-term visa. But many times I have heard this. I will let you now this time. This is last time I will let you in. But next time you will need to have long-term uh, visa when you come to Thailand because you live Thailand permanently and you are not tourist anymore. 
yeah. Uh, let's keep going. So I read, read uh, this uh, pattajamail.com. So you can, I, I will also put the link on the, on the description. So you can, you can read the same article if you want. But uh, I don't know what you are now think about. But uh, here's what uh, one American uh, expat, uh, Dan Silverman, uh, who, who, who have a, a yearly extension based on retirement says says uh, it's just ridiculous i have to keep 800,000 baht in a thai bank obtain a medical insurance face ever changing regulations and regularly report my thai address uh, throughout the year or be fined yeah he is talking this uh, 90 day reports uh, and he add that, uh, and for what, when you can come and go as you please with the new visas. Uh, views such as this are currently being voiced widely on social media as expat digest the latest visa announcements. Well, I don't think so. It's, it's now works like this. Uh, how how Mr. Silverman and many many other retirees or elite visa holders now think that uh, now now uh, people can come and go uh, as they want. Of course, uh, if you are tourist uh, and you make those short term visits, of course it works like that. But it's I, ha I highly doubt that uh, it is with uh, retirees who live th in Thailand uh, permanently. Because uh, all thought, all thought uh, Thailand now uh, open up all the doors and want more people come to in. But uh, this is, this is not, not the whole truth. And of course we will see this, uh, let's say, uh, within within uh, one year or maybe two years. <laughs> and here is another one, uh, one expat with uh, marriage extension, ma marriage visa extension say that uh, would or ask would an appointment letter from a hospital for extracting your teeth enable you to get 180 days plus an extension of 180 days. Does a foreigner learning Thai cuisine, Thai cooking class, need five years to learn how to cook? Yeah, these are good questions. And uh, now this last comment is, is all about this new uh, Thailand destination, destination Thailand visa. And if you can uh, under, understand better now this new five-year multi-entry visa when you take a look on this infographic here. So what does it actually mean? I will tell you now. Yeah, so here is this infographic now uh, about this new uh, five-year uh, destination Thailand visa. And uh, one of the most important things is that uh, you, you cannot apply it uh, when you are in Thailand. Uh, you can apply it only, only outside of Thailand. And it depends now uh, what embassy or consular uh, you want to use. But basically, uh, it doesn't have to be in your home country. And you can, you can do it... Uh, I have uh, now do some research and uh, I, I know uh, how, how uh, already people uh, have applied and where and how they actually I have heard that and see uh, the stamps or, or the visas uh, that there are already many, many, uh, many uh, freelancers, uh, remote workers, digital nomads who already got this uh, new, new type of visa. And I think this is now one of the one of the most most uh, important things to also understand that uh, this visa has has made uh, mainly mainly for online online workers who who 
who either have own online business, who are maybe solopreneurs, uh, or who work for foreign company and can do it uh, work online uh, remotely. And that means that they can stay also, they can do that work uh, anywhere in the world, including Thailand. And because this is now a new visa, what is the most confusing thing uh, as was this uh, the latest comment that uh, now people think that uh, you can get uh, six months uh, destination Thailand visa if you and and you can extend it uh, another six months uh, just paying ten thousand baht uh, if you if you uh, apply uh, Thai cooking class which might only be two weeks. Uh, or muja Thai course or sport training you can see here these uh, options or medical treatment i by the way know already one one guy who who has who has uh, get this uh, destination thailand visa for the me medical treatment purposes uh, or seminars or music festivals uh, but this is this is now no one knows now how this how this uh, this uh, participants of these kind of uh, activities muja Thai, Thai cooking class uh, etc how how embassies because embassies and these consulars are the places who who will decide if you get it or not but I will now go back to this. Uh, foreign affairs uh, boss and <clears throat> if you take a look at the interview it's quite long interview but uh, and by the way this is now again TIT this is Thailand it doesn't maybe work <laughs> even his big boss it doesn't work like he said he says 100% uh, because every embassy have maybe a little bit different implementations and every embassy worker uh, has the last decision if you can get a uh, five-year multi multi-entry visa uh, just applying a Thai two weeks Thai cooking class but anyway this I can tell you I uh, because I watched already this, this interview from this uh, foreign affairs boss and he said that if if I I can confirm I have a confirmation letter that I I will I will go let's say two week Thai cooking class and if the embassy which I use and apply let's say uh, in Vietnam or Cambodia or Laos I can apply it on on these these uh, embassies even I'm uh, I'm from Finland uh, if they give me this five-year destination Thailand visa that means that uh, according to this foreign affairs boss uh, that yes even if it's only two week cooking class I can stay in Thailand uh, 180 days which is quite uh, amazing of course but it's also a little bit a little bit surprising that uh, Thailand now uh, do this kind of uh, how I can say Thailand really now open 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 doors uh, for for well I, I would call these people who who apply these uh, tourists because uh, this is uh, more or less tourist purposes and Thailand want more tourists uh, to to country to spend money of course but this foreign affairs guy also said that uh, if you want to extend it inside Thailand you can of course you need to you need to pay 10,000 baht but you you need to have again uh, some kind of uh, uh, new or another uh, activity can it be again 
two week cooking class uh, no one knows that because uh, there is no no any experience uh, experience of this type of visa and i would just think uh, even uh, logic is not always the best best strategy uh, to to go but i would just think that uh, if people start to abuse this new new uh, destination thailand visa to just let in long term so if if thailand see that okay people just use this visa to stay permanently in thailand then they should already apply long term visa for another purposes unless they are digital nomads uh, freelancers uh, or remote workers and they can uh, they can uh, <coughs> sorry they can actually verify that they have a own business they can bank money or they are remote workers and maybe lastly i would highlight that uh, I would not now think that if I'm on retirement visa or elite visa that uh, now every retiree can get this uh, destination Thailand visa because it it's not true. So firstly, if you now think like that, uh, do you have online company or do you work for foreign company? Can you do it remotely? If your answer is no, so of course you cannot apply this. Uh, destination Thailand visa for uh, work purposes. So your only option is then to apply these uh, soft, soft these activities. How they call it? Uh, participants in activities. So these muja Thai courses, uh, Thai cooking classes. But it's not it's not good long term strategy to live permanently in Thailand because. Uh, in the end, uh, Thai, well, the, the Thailand, Thailand uh, uh, not not allow you to do that uh, long term. Uh, of course, uh, no one knows it uh, how it goes, but uh, this is this is anyway anyway situation always when we are talking about these uh, tourist purposes and then uh, retirees uh, who live here permanently and. And by the way, many retirees uh, or have already retired. They they don't have any interest to do border bounces with these sixty plus thirty day stamps. Uh, it's like it's like endless game that uh, many many I know many people who who hate border bounces and and. When I was in Cambodia, I, I feel a little bit like uh, I'm wasting my time and I'm wasting, of course, my money also to just get what? To just get this. Uh, at that time, it was only 30 days plus 30 days extension. But I felt that uh, this is very stupid uh, strategy uh, to if I try to use it uh, many times per year. It doesn't make any sense that... Uh, I waste my time uh, to driving uh, Cambodia and Chom Chom border and 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 they said by the way that uh, I can do it only two times per year in that time but no one knows now uh, how these Cambodian borders operate <clears throat> but anyway it's not good strategy in long term uh, I need to have also uh, let's say a peaceful mind uh, than and stressful free uh, mindset that I can live here uh, permanently uh, and it's only it's only uh, possible in my opinion when you have a long-term visa and of course it's it's very stressful also if you don't use agents uh, if you if you do it yourself uh, this marriage visa yearly extensions because it's huge paper paper process and work or if you have retirement visa and like now these comments uh, and i know many many retirees uh, who or who have retirement visa like like i had uh, they hate to park eight eight hundred thousand baht to their thai bank accounts uh, 
with zero interest. It doesn't make any sense and you cannot, you, you basically you can never use that. So it doesn't make any sense and it's, it's just uh, every year it's a uh, little bit uh, stress to go immigration and you need to, it's, it might take few hours anyway and uh, do all those papers and of course if you now have option like I have to get this destination Thailand visa legally because uh, if you have your own business or if you have a chance to do any kind of remote work uh, then of course uh, this new uh, five-year multi-entry Thailand destination visa is much more better option because it's only 10,000 baht besides uh, when you apply it and then when you if you want to extend it uh, without doing any border bounces you pay another 10,000 baht to get 360 days and then you need to do the border bounce and start this process again but what is the what is the good thing here is as far as i understand uh, how multi-entry visas works because i i had one multi-entry visa oa already so this destination Thailand visa, uh, five-year multi-entry visa, if I do a border bounce uh, before this 100, initial 180 day stamp expiring, I do border bounce or trip like we just have been in Vietnam uh, over a week. And when I come to back to Thailand, uh, because it's multi-entry visa, I get again new 180 day stamps stamp uh, without paying anything extra. Of course, the only cost is the trip outside of the country. Yes. All right, it's time to wrap up this video. Sorry, this is a little bit long video, but maybe because uh, we have now a long break on this channel because we were in Vietnam, great trip in Vietnam. But anyway, anyway, uh, I hope that you leave some kind of comment. Do you think that uh, now, maybe the main question is now, do you think that now your retirement visa or your maybe marriage visa or maybe your elite visa is now worthless? Leave a comment. Do you think that, uh, do you think that you can get this new Thailand, destination Thailand visa or do you think that uh, you can just do now border bounces maybe and live permanently in Thailand? Yes, leave a comment, let's chat. Bye bye.